Now, I am going to solve the set B trigonometric function number 7. Y equals tangent of pi minus 2x. To find the derivative of this function, we can use the chain rule. The chain rule states that if y is equals to f g of x, then y prime is equals to f prime g of x times g prime of x. Now first, we'll need to find the derivative of gx. gx, g of x, I mean, is pi minus 2x. To find the derivative of this, we need to g prime of x is equals to d over dx, the derivative of pi, I mean d of dx of pi, plus d over dx minus 2x. g prime of x, the derivative of pi is 0. The derivative of neg negative 2x is negative 2 times positive minus 2. Zero minus two is negative two. Now we need to find the derivative of f u is equals to tan tangent of u, where u is equals to pi minus two x. The derivative of tangent is second squared f prime is equals to second squared q. Putting it all together, we get we get y prime is equals to second squared. Then put the pi minus two x pi minus two x times the derivative of the inside negative 2 and this is the answer now I am going to solve the set C of implicit differentiation number 38 x squared ln y is equals to log base 3 of xy First, we need to get the derivative of the left side. x squared is, the derivative of x squared is 2x. And the derivative of ln y is 1 over y, y prime. Equals, next we are going to get the derivative of the right side. The derivative of log base 3 to x y is 1 over ln 3 times x y prime plus y now we just need to factor the y prime y prime y prime times open parenthesis we are going to put the one that is on the right side of that y prime which is the 1 over y and x minus x because it will, it will be transposed next we are those that are remained here, we will put it here, which is 2x times 1 over ln 3 times y. So to get the y, we need to divide this both sides. So 
1 over y minus x and 1 over y minus x. Cancel, cancel. So, all that is left is y prime is equals to 2x times 1 over ln 3 times y all over 1 over y minus x. We can still simplify this and it will be like this. y prime is equals to 2xy squared all over ln 3 times 1 minus xy. And this will be my final answer. Now I am going to differentiate this function. Number 7, x is equals to t squared hyperbolic cosine of t plus 2. To differentiate this function, we can use again the chain rule. The chain rule states that if, if x is equals to f of g of t, then, then I mean then, dx dt is equals to f prime g of t times g prime of t. Our f of t, f of t is, is t squared. And our g of, f, uh, g of t is the hyperbolic cosine t plus 2. To find the derivative of f of t, we need to find the derivative of f of t, which is f prime of t is equals to the derivative of t squared, which is 2t. And we need to get the derivative of g of t, which is g prime of t is equals to the derivative of hyperbolic cosine, which is which is um, sine hyperbolic sine t plus 2 so putting it all together dx over dt is equals to 2t sine h which is hyperbolic sine of 2 of t plus 2. Therefore, the derivative of the function x is equal to t squared hyperbolic cosine of t plus 2 is with respect to t is 2t hyperbolic sine of t plus 2.